and thus the writing games have finally begun in High School DxD Hero. And I gotta say, I'm not really a big fan of the writing games this time around. It is very interesting how they're doing it more tournament arc where they have certain characters based on the dice they roll and again by number of points that the service they should send out. Which it makes some sense, but still I liked it better where it was like the Battle Royale thing where you had all your pieces out there on the field and are fighting like a chess game. The rating game this time around, it doesn't feel like an actual good rating game compared to season one. You know where East League's team was fighting against Sir Riser's team? It felt more like a chess piece game in that season than it did in this season. This one's okay, but however, I feel like it's going a little too fast for me to really enjoy it compared to the last one. I know why I compared to the last one, they're completely different. But then at the same time, they're both writing games. I'm just trying to tell you what I enjoyed out of the first one that I did with the new one that's happening right now. For instance, the fight with Kiba was very flashy in this episode. However, it felt like it went by way too fast. There was no time to really savor the battle, to really enjoy seeing what's going on. It was just, it was over like that, you know, just like a couple of minutes, it's already over with. Same thing with, um, okay, with um, Rose Weiss and Conoco's fight, okay, they struggled actually. There was some strategy put in that fight, so it was okay, but nonetheless, it was okay, that fight, you know. Sure, it wasn't flashy like he was fighting, but at least it had some strategy put into it, so it wasn't all the way that bad all the time around. But speaking of that, I also want to talk about um, Konaka. Konaka. Um, I haven't noticed this lately, but I'm just starting to notice it. Has she ever won a match? I, I, I'm just wondering that, because I remember um, a couple while ago before I started watching DxD Hero, I was recapping the other um, seasons. And I don't think I remember Konoko ever really winning a match. Unless she has help. I'm like, she's supposed to be super strong and stuff like that. And she's actually become a very interesting character throughout it. Um, I always thought she's going to remain the Sundere of the show, but she has changed. She's no longer Sundere. And let's face it, I can't stand female Sundere's. They're just terrible, in my opinion. But seeing Konoko is like, when are you going to win a match? I have never seen her actually win a match, so far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I have not seen her win a match yet. She's always fighting, she's super strong, and she even gains more powers, but I guess it's, she's all strength, but she's no technique, I'm guessing. So because of that, I think she needs to gain some more technique. If she really wants to put some effort into Team Maria's Grimmery, I believe she should start fighting with using some brains and not just brawn. Because she's gonna need that. She wants to keep on winning. Because it wasn't for Rose Weiss doing this. Um, pretty much Rose Weiss was the brains behind the entire thing. Even though she's stronger than Konako, she was also the brains as well within this match. Especially how she was fighting that one guy who controls gravity by sight and she used her like reflections to go against the other guy, which was the thing or something like that. So yeah, that was very good on that part. Then the next fight. This was actually the best fight between Zenobia and Gasper. Hands down, best fight of the episode. It was really good. Not only was it just flashy, but it had, a, had strategy and character development. See, when you do these fighting arcs with inside of an anime, like Ginka said before, it's always good to have character development. Just don't just throw characters in there and you expect people to enjoy the match. No, you gotta have some character development. You gotta have a reason to keep people be glued to their seats to watch the show. So in this match, definitely showed it. Especially with Gashman to Zenobia. Zenobia has proven that she's just like in a um, Konoko situation. She is really strong, but however, she lacks strategy. She's the kind of character that always goes in head first and just strikes down, not bothering asking questions later. However, Gashman shows up, and we don't really see Gashman in much action most of the times in this series. So seeing it is a very weird treat for me. So how he went in and he started to use his um, powers in a different way, like using time stop, using the seals that make Zenobi use her weapon again. It was beautiful. I liked it a lot. It showed a lot of strength in his character. When it comes down, when push comes to shove, Jaspi rises to the challenge. Despite how scared he is or trembling, it's thanks to Issei. Issei is doing a good job 
grooming Jasper becoming a monster because right now he's, he's grooming it he's scared but he's still going forward which is nice which is a life lesson that even when you're scared no matter how much you fear something what matters is what you do with that fear will you just let it dominate you or will you use it to find a way to survive and move forward so Gaffer character's finally getting some development is a very treat for anyone to enjoy especially in this episode he, he went out sure he um lost the match in a way well he didn't lose the match his team won but he's out the ma- out of the match he still did one heck of a number which was nice really nice in the end then let's talk about Ife. Apparently they send their bishop out and apparently they're supposed to be some way to stop Issei from using his full power and, <laughs> and Issei took the challenge and she just starts stripping man like only in high school do you be where you have a serious match like this. So and um he used his professional degree in boop lingual to talk to her talk to the bishop opies and <laughs> he said she was supposed to take out the boss but she did some apparently Issei has a way of things we all have our way our copes our mechanisms our quirks and we all like for things to go a certain way I guess for Issei it's where to go things go top to bottom if you know what I mean <laughs> It's not just wink wink. Um, it's very interesting to see that. You know, I thought he was the type of guy like, who, who cares as long as girls have their clothes off, it don't matter. But no, when it comes to stripping, you gotta be a professional. And she was taking professional, but however, one mishap, you piss off your customer. And I guess she pissed off Issei, because Issei was not no happy customer in this episode. Cause you know, I guess Issei prefers for women to take off the stuff from the top, then take the stuff off from the bottom. And I guess she just went straight to the bottom, and Issei, it, it upset at him. You can see the rage in his eyes, the disappointments. He was not a happy customer whatsoever in this. I'm like, God damn, Issei, I feel for you, man. You know, we like things to happen a certain way. And Issei is no different from you and I, you know? Sometimes I like things to be done a certain way, no matter how, even you can do it this way. I prefer to be done that way. That's the way I'm comfortable with. That's the way I'm used to. And I guess with Issei, he prefers taking off his Barbie dolls from top to bottom. Ugh, why did I say that? <laughs> so now, I did another match to happen that happened so freaking fast was Akano's match. Like, goddamn, man. Akano's, you know, is one of people's favorites. She's the most favorite. She's not my personal favorite. She's pretty cool, but she's not my personal favorite. Zenobi and Akano are mine. If you've been watching this channel, you know who my favorites are. But she's a lot of people's favorite. So to see her just lose like that, it was kind of disappointing. Like, really? I'm wondering if you like novel readers, let me know if the matches in the books are actually a lot longer than they are in this anime. Just please let me know. If they are, just tell me. Because I don't want to be disappointed, man. Because the matches are longer than light novels, and that's good. That's that's fantastic. But in this, it felt like it was so rushed that it was like, what's the point in this? Like, what is the scene for? So, this obviously just got defeated without even a sweat from the other person. So, that kind of sucks. And now it seems like um, Kiba, Rose Weiss, and Zenobia are fighting against Sayorg. And we all know how that's gonna end. We know he's going to lose. And they know they're gonna lose. Um, it's just this is just gonna be a match for Issei to absorb Sayori's um, full capability. Because Rose Ways is, I'm guessing, the strongest out of three in that group. Kiba is like a holy demonic sword user, and well, Zenobi is a holy sword user. Rose Ways is a freaking Valkyrie. Dude, that's very powerful. So we get to see how they're gonna use some sort of strategy to fight Sayori. We know they're not gonna win. I like to see what Sayori is going to show, show how powerful he is to Issei in the matter. So that's going to be interesting to see, and that's pretty much the episode, man. Like I said before, um, it felt so rushed. I feel like we're already towards the end of this ratings game, and now I'm comparing the last ratings game to this one a lot is because 
I was very disappointed in this one. It was so fast. In the other one, you had character development. You had a lot of strategy. It felt like an actual rating game, you know? Since they're called pieces and stuff like that, you expect them to be all on the board fighting each other. That's, that's the point of being the piece thing, you know, the evil pieces. If it should be a tournament thing, heck, what's the point of that? This feels more like something the deck of cards will be using, if you ask me. But this is between demons and not angels, so there just goes that. So yeah, nonetheless, I'm so excited to see how Sayoric is going to beat the crap out of the other three. I know it's going to happen, it's just the obvious. But that's all I got for this review. I hope you guys enjoy it. I, what do you think about High School DxD Episode 10? Did anything was rushed for you, um, light novel readers? Do you feel like anything was rushed, or did you know anything was rushed? Hey, who was your favorite match out of the episode? Mine personal favorite was Jasper and Zenobia. That was a really good one. The other ones felt a little bit too short for me to even enjoy. It just happened way too fast for me. So yeah, if you did like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and please hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload. I am the Macron Anime, and I'm signing out. Have a good one, guys.